My prayer is that we learn to continually walk with Christ. When the Bible says, don't be drunk with wine, it doesn't stop there. There's no period there. It's not, it doesn't say, don't be drunk with wine. Whew, man. It says, don't be drunk with wine, but be filled. And if you study that Greek terminology, that to be filled means continual present tense. You should continually be filled with the Holy Ghost. And some of us in this room still try to say no to everything and saying yes to him instead of saying yes to him. What if you said yes to him every moment of every day? What if you walked to, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Where, where you lead, I will go. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Okay, yes, Lord. Not just, okay, I'm not smoking today. I will, today is the day I'm not going to do it. Good, don't smoke. But if your life is a list of no's, listen, the way I grew up, I didn't watch bad movies. I didn't sleep around. I don't even know what a drug is. I'm not lying. I've never been drunk. I never stayed out past curfew. Not one time. All of my no's amounted to nothing if I didn't say yes to him. And some of you still live saying, no, no, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to partake of that. No, I can't think that. Nope, I will. You stop thinking that. I can't stop thinking that, but I, I can't. I'm not going to. What about yes to him? What, what if you get filled instead because he's there? See, all of your no's don't draw you closer to him. It's your yes to him that draws you closer to him. You want to be filled with the Holy Ghost buzzing from head to toe? You can do that. But not by saying no to stuff, but by saying yes to him. You want to love your spouse? You can't just say no. You know what? I'm going to love her, but I got to make sure I say no to everything else. No, it's got to be yes to him through you, love her. Yes. 